No. All right. Should be. Oop, my hair is backwards. Should be fine. Should be up. Hello. Oop, I'm seeing some activity over here on my other screen. Maybe. There we are. Nope. There we're not. There we are. Are we there? Is this? What's going on here? Okay. I think we're live. I think we're together. Hi, everyone. Maybe not. Why does this keep going in and out? Let me just refresh the page, maybe. Is this actually... The next question is... Yeah, no, the webcam mic is on. Good. I don't feel like getting my full mic out. What can I say? Well, okay, now we seem to be live, not having stuttering issues or whatever the heck that was, weird blackout things. And hi for anyone who's actually here and the, red, the little counter thing hasn't registered yet. So again, as usual, going to give people a little bit of time to filter in and then uh, we'll get started soon. Do -do -do. Ba -do. Ba -do -ba -do -do -do. 8.03. What a day. What a day it has been. And by day, I mean I don't. I was fine. Nothing weird about my day. Ooh, look at these bags. I'm tired, aren't I? Oh, yeah. I'm not used to waking up at 9, well, 7 o'clock in the morning, really. It's way too early for me. Going back to my 1 to 9 schedule starting next week. So unfortunately, this stream is going to get a little, uh, well, quiet. But hopefully I'll be back with my late night streams, that's for sure. I'll be there for those. Like, until then, this is going to be my last regular, regular uh, timed Tuesday stream. Probably keep it within that Tuesday through Wednesday, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday ish thing. Um, Thursday's kind of nice because I don't have to worry about waking up the next day early, but yeah. Tuesday, Wednesday seems to be when people can actually pop in. So yeah. All right. Well, it's 8.05, I see some people in the stream chat, or stream thing, a little counter. So, hi, welcome. Since it is now, wait a minute, one computer is on 8.05, one computer says 8.04. Oh, huh. I'll wait till this computer says 8.04, and there we go. Well, now, we'll get started. All right. See if this works the first time, it never does. And it didn't. No surprise. Oh, whoa. Alright, I need to turn that off. It'll be loads of fun for lots of different reasons. Um, one of the most interesting of which being that NVIDIA has now done... Okay, apparently I can't do that. NVIDIA has now done their thing and you can use... Um, G-Sync with FreeSync monitors or something like that. It seems to work all right for mine. Except on Nancy Drew, apparently. Uh, so again, I still have a black screen and I have to fix this yet again every time. Really don't know what is wrong. Where is the... How do I get this? If it's hiding down here, you... Are mean. Ah. Okay. And I am having difficulties with this menu. Ah. Why can't I? No, don't, don't you dare open Edge. Don't you dare. I'm having 
having technical difficulties. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand by as I figure out why my monitor is an idiot. All right. Do that. See if it changes on the screen. It didn't, but at least we have one thing less to deal with at the moment. Ah, only thing I know how to do is just keep turning it off and on again. And hopefully it'll work. I don't want to stop the stream. That's probably going to be the same thing all over again. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, okay. You thought I broke everything. Ooh! Everybody loves coming in and watching a stream of someone having technical issues. I can't wait for the newer games that are windowed. Those are fun. I have a tendency to remember that this just ends up working at some point, and I don't know how to get it to work. Okay, got something. All right. <laughs> I'm going to try Scarlet Hand again, and it will work this time, because it always does. Okay. Game up. Game up. Never, never, no, no idea. No idea why that happens. No idea why, you know, it's always the first time just never works. Never works. Loads of fun. Okay, so uh, if any of you were here last time when we were playing... We just had a wonderful time working for a museum. It was nice. Um, except then someone stole something. Womp womp. We have a lot of things to find out, like why is Henrik wearing a flesh colored pantsuit? Like romper thing. Why would why why would you do that? Why would you ever? Oof, this So, uh Thing stolen. We were trying everything and everything fell. He's not here. Nope. Oh. That's nice, I guess. That's not. Nancy, something's come up. I have gone for a bit. Run through the temple activities to verify that all questions can be answered based on info available elsewhere in the museum. Don't want a little rascal revealing our hands on the exhibit up stuff, do we, Henrik? Well, we already have discovered that there is one question that we can't answer thanks to Sunny, who was already our job, I guess. And, uh, nothing much else to do about that. You have voicemail. Oh, hey, look, we have voicemail. Jersey lady. It's Franklin Rose. I'm calling because it's just this theft is very bad news for the museum. You can't imagine the limb we went out on to acquire that Pakal carving. It's been one of the museum's main attractions. Um, I don't want to take you away from your internship, but if you can do a little investigating, well, I think I speak for the whole board when I say we'd be very grateful. Give me a call when you have a chance. And Nancy, thanks. To replay messages. See, Press now that's actually Press just nine, just nice. You know? It was like, well, you know, I know this is not what you came here for, but would you mind? That's 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 courteous. I'll I'll take it. I'll take it. It's nice. Better than nine times out of ten. When they're just like, Nancy! You do it! I didn't know I was being volunteered. Just, just, just at least getting a thanks would be nice. Roswell Jackson while. and Rose, how may I direct your call? This is Nancy Drew, calling for Franklin Rose, please. Just a minute, please. Oh, Nancy, he, if he's a DC lawyer, is he a lobbyist? Not really, but something tells me this case is going to get complicated. Excuse oh, me. Nancy, you zero in on a case like a heat-seeking missile, don't you? I feel so much better knowing you're going to follow up on every lead. I'll help in any way I can. Thanks, Mr. Rose. That's what I'm here for. That was not 
what I thought that would be. I figured there might actually be some... something. You know. I shouldn't be messing around with this without permission. At least some kind of... I don't know. I don't, I don't literally, literally anything. I don't know. Oop, nothing. I found bubble wrap. Got all this bubble wrap here, and we had to order bubble wrap. Like, we're fine. We're good. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Don't 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 worry about it. Need something? Have you seen Henrik? I found a piece of paper inside the Pakal display case. It had some glyphs on it and a print of a red hand. I'm hoping he can give me a translation. What am it's I? The... Fish food? Henrik's not the only one around here who can read a glyph, you know. Me, 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 me. What am I? Useless? Blah, blah, blah. Well, I mean, with that shirt. Sorry, Joanna. I thought I was supposed to go to Henrik with all my glyph questions. The police showed me the note. It said, the magician suffers yellow death. Whatever that means. Apparently, the thief just couldn't come up with the glyphs for the curator suffers flaming purple disgrace. <laughs> I'm curious about the red handprint the thief left. Does it have any significance in Maya culture? Afraid I can't help you there. What I want to know is what the hand was printed with. It's obviously not finger paint. Why don't you do a little analysis on it in the lab? I haven't seen Henrik's. Yes, the where back. is our where flesh pants suit wearing friend? Who knows? <laughs> I don't. Well, at the very least, we got permission to use the, the spectrometer. I like spectrometers. They're fun little tools, and they really out overplay exactly. Oh, this is the wrong thing, isn't it? They overplay exactly how they can be used in movies, I feel. This is the ham. Yeah, ham. That's the ham radio. We don't need the thing for the ham radio. We want the thing for the... The not ham radio. It's locked. It's locked. Well, they're unfortunately locked. Good job, Nancy. It is indeed very much so locked. Okay, but there's a book around here that's supposed to. Oh. Nope. Nope. There's a book around here that's supposed to help me with this, isn't there? So there's definitely a book that I'm supposed to have. This is either going to be bad or it's going to be good. I don't know yet. We're going to try. Just going to shove it in and press the start button. <laughs> okay, I've got a graph of the chemical used for the handprint. Now I've got to match it up with a known substance. This is a very loud machine. I don't like that. I'm gonna... Oh, okay. Here we go. That looks right to me. I don't know about you guys, but uh That's it. That's it. doesn't work okay hgs we happen to have a lovely periodic table over here and we can find everything S stands for sulfur and isn't it mercury mm, no yes According to this yeah, book, mercury. HG stands for mercury. So the handprint was made from mercury and sulfur. Well, a mercury sulfur compound. Not just mercury and sulfur. I mean, that would be you just shove two Need elements something? together. I did the chemical oh. analysis you suggested. That red hand was printed with a compound containing mercury and sulfur. 
Does that mean anything to you? Sure, sure, Cinnabar. The Maya would rub it into their most important carvings to add definition to the artist's lines. Does the museum keep Cinnabar around? We use Cinnabar here at the museum the same way the Maya did, to keep things as authentic as possible. Henrik orders those kinds of supplies, but we've been out of stock for quite a while. The last I heard, there was some kind of hold up with the distributor. I've got work to do. Hold up with the distributor? That sounds like a job for phones. <laughs> the little phone pad of the stuff. Can look at the thing. Uh... Nope. There we go. Mercury sulfide. Contact Mac BH008P 556766. You have no more. 6766? Speaking. Hi, I'm the new deputy curator over at Beach Hill Museum. I wonder if you could answer a couple of questions for me about our ordering history. Well, hello there, Beach Hill. Hey, you're not Sunny June. Whatever happened to that guy? I suppose he caught a ride on a flying saucer, huh? <laughs> Put him. <laughs> what a riot. Uh, I'm sorry. Anyway, you don't need to reorder, do you? Unless you ate last week's shipment for breakfast, that is. Do you know who placed that order? Well, the initials on the order are J.R. Joanna Riggs. You're sure it was last week? Oh, that's what it says here. Was the package shipped to the museum? Uh... Oh? Oops, I guess we didn't ship it at all. It looks like the package was picked up here at the warehouse. Ah. Huh. So there hasn't been a hold-up at the distributor or anything like that? Hold-up? Oh, I don't know where you heard that. We've got enough mercuric sulfide in house to sink a ship. To sink a ship? This guy's voice is weird. Can you remember anything about the person who picked up the package? Hmm. Uh, I sure can't. Guess Helpful. I must have been at lunch or something. Helpful. Well, thanks for your help. Sure thing. I hope there wasn't any problem with the stuff, was there? We only use the top grade mercuric sulfide. Judging by the impression it left, I'd have to agree that the quality was fine. Ah. Uh, you sound a little green uh, in the chemicals department, if you don't mind my saying so. I hope you know that mercuric sulfide is highly toxic. Makes you crazy. The inflection was. Well, I have heard that mercury poisoning can cause hallucinations and other symptoms of psychosis. Shablam. Oh, uh, Looks like I've got another call coming in here. Oh, oh. You give us a call in about four months or so when you start to run out, okie doke? And don't forget to keep it real. <gasps> Beautiful. Beautiful. There was actually a time when businesses would do that, didn't they? Like, back in the 90s and the aughts. Need something? I've got work Oof. to do. Go to it. That was useless. Well, the only thing I can do at this moment is just badger people. So I'm going to go back to my hotel, and I'm going to make some more phone calls. Then we're going to go talk to people, I guess. Check in with Bess. Hello? Hey, Bess. It's me, Nancy. What's new? Pouring rain. George and I are in the middle of a heated game of go fish, and I'm winning. Don't believe a word she says, Nancy. Last hint, I made mincemeat out of her. Anyway, we don't want to make you homesick. How's the internship going? Everything was going great until someone broke into a display case and stole one of the museum's most valuable artifacts. A jade carving of King Pakal. Oh, was King this Pakal? meal. He's considered one of the great Maya rulers. He reigned at the height of the Maya civilization. So what happened? Well, apparently the civilization was never quite the same after he died. No, silly with the theft. <laughs> what happened with the theft? Nancy, focusing, focus. Easy, ladies. 
Let's just say that so far, I have more questions than I do answers. But don't worry, I'm on the case. There goes your low-key internship. I like that we don't have to talk to him. It never will cease to amaze me. What's his face? Ned. So much trouble. I don't know what to make of Alejandro Del Rio, the attaché to the Mexican consulate. I don't understand why there's a consulate and not an embassy, right but that's okay. Now, he's negotiating the monolith loan agreement between Mexico and the museum. And what's your confusion? Something to do with dashing good looks, I hope. Well, he is a little bit handsome, but he also seems very angry about all the Mexican antiquities his country has lost over the years. How have they been lost? They've been taken by explorers and archaeologists and smugglers. I guess the laws have only recently changed to protect Mexico's rights to its own antiquities. Well, it sounds like he has a legitimate gripe. Yes, but I got the feeling he would do just about anything to get an artifact returned to Mexico. What do you mean, anything? anything. That's what I'm not sure of. Ba ba ba. Big talker. And not a bona fide vigilante. Have you seen anything in the papers about Beach Hill getting a deal with Mexico to display the Palenque monolith? The who? The monolith. It's a giant block of stone recently excavated from a cave near Palenque in Mexico. Apparently, it's a very big deal. They think it's 1,500 years old. So, have you seen it? This, uh, monolith? Yeah, it's humongous. Must weigh a ton. Like how big? As big as a refrigerator? <laughs> Maybe Bigfoot's refrigerator. Sorry, Nancy, but... How would a person tell this monolith apart from, say, some other big rock? I gotta be honest. For one thing, it has George is supposed to be the smart one. Glyphs? glyphs? Pictures Oof. that represent words or ideas, also known as logographs. Joanna says the glyphs might be a message from King Pakal. What kind of message? We don't know yet. Henrik Vanderhune, Beach Hill's epigrapher, is working on a translation. Ever since the theft, I haven't been able to find Henrik anywhere. That's odd. Has anyone else seen him? If they have, they sure aren't telling me. Nancy, do you think he's the thief? I can't imagine that. But he Maybe could be. An accomplice. Maybe. He needs money to buy better clothes. Job easier. It's possible, but Henrik seems to care so much about his work. Why would he want to hurt the museum? Maybe he cares a little too much. She's right, Nancy. I'd give him the third degree if I were you. Whenever he shows up again, that is. Somehow, Joanna has gotten the museum into some financial hot water. How'd she do that? Yeah, and how hot's the water? It's all very vague. I want to give her the benefit of the doubt. I mean, maybe she just overextended the budget a little in her effort to acquire the best artifacts for the museum, but... But... Even if her intentions were good. She may be feeling a little desperate to make some money back quickly. Like desperate some insurance money? Sell it on the black market? And collect the insurance on it too? I know she loves the museum. Who knows what she'd do if she were afraid of losing her job. She's right. a suspect. Definitely a suspect. I'll talk to you later. Not maybe. gonna ask Bye. for a hint because yeah. I don't feel like I need one yet. I'm still just, you know, chugging along. Just gonna talk well, to some more people. Rose. See if I do remember that there are some times that when you call Rose. Franklin Rose out, the job versus here, things can be different. Well, Obviously not now, but that's wrong. fine. We don't need him. She doesn't need to breathe. <laughs> Who needs air? When I have another man's money. Wait, why? Right. Never mind. No, that makes sense. Goes into the... Got it. Got it! I think they've changed the metro map since this design. Only that door opens. Hello, Nancy. Why did Mexico choose to lend the monolith to Beach Hill and not some other museum? Johanna Riggs outbid everyone. I had no idea a small museum like Beach Hill could afford such an expensive arrangement. My goodness. Do you know much about Maya glyphs? You've got me there. I know Spanish, English, Portuguese, and several indigenous languages, including Akiche and Nahuatl, but I have yet to learn the language of glyphs. Not going to talk about the Pakal Harving yet. Do you know what 
come at you with Cinnabar. The red powder that the Maya used? Sure, I know it. They use it at Beach Hill too, do they not? They do use it at the museum, but Joanna told me they haven't been able to get any in a while. I'll try to avoid talking about the hand, but I think this is forcing me into it. I think I accidentally walked myself into a corner. The narrative is broken. Lack of immersion. Ah! Joanna said the museum didn't have any. I'm sneeze. The supplier said she ordered some Oof. last week. Have you called the police? I don't want to jump to conclusions. Call the police about what? Oh, I haven't told you about the. Joanna couldn't possibly be a thief now, could she? Yeah, I guess Have we'll talk about the Bacall carving. The carving was stolen <clears throat> from the museum. Well, I heard the alarms going off, but it wasn't until Henry called me that I heard the news. So you were in the museum at the time? I was dropping off the monolith agreement for Joanna, as I said. Uh... Stop to see what was going on? I was running late. I just figured somebody tripped a wire and I kept going. I'll need to alert the police so they can ask you some questions. I have diplomatic immunity, so I do not have to answer any questions. But I will because I have nothing to hide. I don't know that attaches get diplomatic immunity. I believe that's just... Uh, let me actually check that. I'm pretty sure that's just the ambassador or the ambassador themselves. Uh, yeah, do attaches get that? Yeah, da 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 da. da. Yeah, it's a bit vague. It seems diplomats are given safe passage and not considered to be susceptible to lawsuit prosecution under the host country's laws, but can still be expelled. So yeah, he, he you are you have diplomatic immunity, but you can still have to leave. Bye. <laughs> huh. Um, does this have anything about attaches or is it? Uh ba da ba da ba da ba da ba do 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 uh, diplomatic immunity. Oh, this is about the UN, is it? Diplomatic technical administrative staff also have more limited immunity under the Vienna Convention. For this reason, some countries may accredit a member of their technical or administrative staff as an attaché. So I guess attachés do? Yeah. Okay. All right. I will walk back my statement. He may have diplomatic immunity. However, it does mean that he can be expelled from a country. So just, just, hmm, hmm, hmm. Well, that's very big of you. Joanna is beside herself over the loss, you know. She will get her insurance money and forget about Pakal in no time. What about the Pakal carving? Wouldn't you rather see it in a case at Beach Hill than lost forever? That artifact was lost to me as soon as it left Mexican soil. So my friend Pakal goes underground for a while until he is sold again. Suddenly, he turns up in Amsterdam or Hong Kong. Unless he is rightfully repatriated to Mexico, what's the difference? Do you consider Henrik a conquistador, along with Joanna Riggs and Sinclair? Henrik is a student of my culture and my heritage. I'm not trying to buy and sell it. We don't agree on everything, especially not baseball, but I have nothing against him. I should get back to the museum. Adios, Nancy. Well, that was informative. Go talk to Sinclair. And then... I don't know what else. It's oh, a boy. fiasco just as I feared! Oh, I'm sick, sick, sick about the whole uh. thing! I see you've spoken with Joanna. I was in the museum when it happened. Oh, good, another, another suspect. Good. I I call it this one. I hate his tie. We're done. But Henrik, I also hate his pantsuit. And Joanna, I kind of hate her thing. And Alejandro is still a suspect. 
<laughs> They're all suspects. Ay. Isn't this good CG? It's great CG. Um, you should have seen the earlier games. <laughs> <laughs> what we got? Do you think it's the same this is the one guy in those other face. That awful red hand was left on Prudence Rutherford's jewelry box in Topeka. And on the display case in the museum in New Mexico. What's the chance they're not connected? Do you know Prudence Rutherford personally? Oh, we saw each other at functions now and then. Poor Prudence. She adored that necklace. Prudence What's Rutherford. I'm excited for Prudence the Rutherford. The Canyon Cultural Center. They had a beautiful collection up there. They have. A bundle, too. I appraised some pieces for them a few years back. Okay. Got you think the phone number to call. This red hint. To be a gruesome scoundrel? The Pakal Thief's glyph message translates to The Magician Suffers Yellow Death. What in the world do you think scurvy. that means? You've got me there. Means scurvy. I'd the Magician Suffers Keep Scurvy. Good work. Scurvy. Hands down. I'm calling it scurvy. All right, we're going to go back to the Colonial Hotel. We're going to make a phone call. And then we're going to go see about making another phone call. Because we have to talk to the Chaco Canyon Research Center, I believe. 1505555151. Excuse me. Chaco Canyon Cultural Center. Hi, I'm hoping to speak to someone about the theft that happened there recently. Are you the press? No, I'm a detective investigating a similar crime in Washington, D.C. This is Sheila Schultz, the director. What would you like to know? My name is Nancy Drew. I'm calling from the Beach Hill Museum in Washington, D.C. It's actually the Colonial Hotel, but that's okay. some rare Maya artifacts stolen recently. That's right. It's a terrible loss. And the police here have no leads. Beach Hill was That's right, too. it's a terrible we loss. We lost one of our prized jade carvings. I'm very sorry to hear that. I'm wondering if the robberies are connected. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions about the incident at Chaco Canyon? Fire away. I heard the thief left a red handprint at the scene of the crime. Is that true? Yes. It was very gruesome. It looked like blood. But according to the police analysis, the print was made with a mercuric sulfide paste. Cinnabar. You can just say Cinnabar. It's fine. Cinnabon. It's made from Cinnabon. Do you know of any symbol? Went down to the mall. Attached to a red hand. Don't Got a walk, Cinnabon. Don't go there. Talk to the hand, as my fifteen-year-old would say. Really, I haven't the slightest idea. He's a very good, very good director. So the thief cleaned out an entire display case. Only the center's most prized pieces. The case contained five pre-Columbian artifacts that were excavated right from this area. Which piece would you say is the greatest loss for the center? Definitely the jade carving. It was highly unusual. There was a glyph on it that no one could translate. Until we hired Henrik van der Heun, that is. Connection? That it's Mayan in origin, and that it may have been a place name glyph for this area. As you can imagine, we regarded it as something of a regional treasure. Could you send me a photo of that jade carving so I can take a look at the glyph? I'm afraid I sent our only print off to the insurance company. Who has they said one? they'd return it, but only one? who knows when our claim will be processed. I'm sorry. Thanks a million, Sheila. Feel free to call if you have any more questions. Yeah. Helpful. Helpful. Very, very helpful. All right, let's go talk to Prudence Rutherford, though, because this woman is a gem. I'm very excited for her. Uh, if you have not played this game yet, you don't know what's about to happen, and I am very excited to show you the brilliance that is oh wait no we have to sorry we have to find her phone number which i believe is in the magazine at the beginning which we saw a thing about here we go i thought there was a I thought there was a phone number in here, but maybe there isn't. Oh. Okay, so maybe we're not going to call Prudence Rutherford yet, but 
We're gonna snoop because I just noticed that no one's here. Because it's late at night or she just got home. Snoop. Snoopity don't know what this is. This is not helpful. But we're gonna look at what she's got on her disc. Shooting. There we go. El Museo Cultural, Beach Hill Museum, Covered Bowl Ceramic. Diego de Landa, ornamental carving. Oh, figuring with bird head. Uh, grinding to the classic. This is... I don't know what I'm looking at here. Not sure whether that was important or not, to be honest. But there's always something good inside the drawer, like this thing. I don't know what that is. Is that for like one of the display cases? I think it is. So, we've got this thing. Good. Good. Don't, don't know why we need a map of Mexico right now. Later, perhaps, but now not that necessary. Huh. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oops. Put the phone down. There's another note here. Please call. They want me to go down to the station for further questioning. Something about an anonymous tip. I don't have time for this. Hold down the fort while I'm gone, will you please? I left my office open if you need anything to be back soon, Joanna. I hear you, Joanna. That's... No, shoot. Sorry. Sorry. Imagine the limb we went out on to acquire that Pakal carving. It's been one of the museum's main attractions. Um, I don't want to take you away from your internship, but if you can do a little investigating, well, I think I speak for the whole board when I say we'd be very grateful. Give me a call when you have a chance. And Nancy, thanks. To reply messages, press zero. Press no... That's what I wanted. The whole time, I just wanted to call someone. But, nope. I hit the wrong button, and voicemail. Boswell, Jackson, and Rose, how may I direct your call? Let this me talk Nancy to Jane. your boss! Franklin Rose, please. Just a minute, please. Nancy, yes. to what do I owe the pleasure of this call? No, the I want you to... Alarm. I'll call you later. Wait. Not a problem, dear. Well, now what do I do? If I call... You have no voicemail. Press 9 for an outside line. What happens if I call... Rocco Canyon from here? Or am I, like, totally out of options here? Or that! Never mind. Totally, totally... Nope. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. It's that was locked. a very dumb hope. I'm gonna find a way into his desk. I reached the end of that thing. Don't actually know what this display case thingy opens. It's locked. That's what it opens, which... Sure, that's going to come in handy in a little bit when I have to obviously use the ham radio that they are very heavily hinting that I will have to use. I just don't know when that will be. Might be getting to the point where I might just have to go to sleep, maybe? And just, like, see what happens? Back here. Buenos dias. 
Have you heard? The police received an anonymous tip, and they're considering Joanna a prime suspect in the... He's probably going to be happy about that, isn't he? They've taken her in for questioning. I called in that tip. Uh -huh. She lied about the Cinnabar, and you may not know this, but she has jeopardized the museum's finances with all of her wheeling and dealing. Why should she not be questioned? How do you know about museum finances? I have my sources. I should get back to the museum. Adios, Nancy. I don't like his shadiness. I don't like it. Nope. Uh-uh. Valentina. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nope. Girl, sit down. Let's go talk to Taylor Sinclair. My least favorite person in this game. Want a cookie? Thanks, but I'm trying to cut back. Any news? I'd better get going. Keep up the good work. Nothing. Okay. Go back to the hotel, because I don't know what to do. At the very least, we can leap it off. Just Rose. How may I talk to call? this, this is guy Nancy again, maybe? Calling maybe. for Franklin Rose, please. Just a minute, please. Nancy, to what do I owe the pleasure of this call? Nothing. False alarm. I'll call you later. Not a problem, dear. Yeah, he's probably pretty pissed. Try you guys again. Hello? It's me again. Nancy Drew, you will never guess who the cat just dragged in. Who? Oh boy. Mike and Joe Hardy. You're kidding. I haven't talked to those two in months. I wish Where I didn't they have to. As cute as ever. Uh. George and I were just telling them about your latest case, and hmm, judging by the way they're hovering around me at the moment, I think they want to say hello. Sure, put them on. Hi, Nancy, it's Frank. Frank Hardy, what in the world are you doing in River Heights? Well, Joe and I just finished up a case out west, and we're taking a few days to drive back to Bayport. So we stopped in River Heights to say hello to our favorite girls. Well, that's awfully sweet of you. We should have <laughs> known you'd be out there chasing trouble. Joe, is that you? The one and only. How's it going, Nancy? Oh, just knee-deep in another case. You know the feeling. Do we ever. There's one around every corner, isn't there? You can say that again. Ooh. There's one around every corner, isn't there? All right, Joe. Cheeky as ever, I see. The secret of my irresistible charm. Oh, brother. Listen, Nancy, we're taking off again tomorrow, but if you want to talk shop about this case, why don't you give us a call on the car phone? The number is 973-555-3393. Sounds the great. car we'll phone. Go get him, Nancy. Good luck. The car phone. Just saying. I don't want to talk to Frank and Joe Hardy. I want to talk to Bess and George. I want to talk to my Hello? girls. It's me again. Hey, Nancy. What's the latest, man? Taylor Sinclair and Alejandro Del Rio have both earned a place on my suspect list. Why? Both admitted to being in the building at the time when the alarm went off. Did they act defensive about it? Not really. They both act as though they have nothing to hide. Do you think they could be working together? Judging by Alejandro's opinion of Taylor, I highly doubt it. But then again, stranger things have happened. Yeah, like in the 10th grade when Bess turned purple in the middle of her class presentation on greenhouse gases. George, would you kindly put a sock in it? Why would, would you kindly? Leaving that awful red handprint at every crime scene. A man chooses... A slave obeys. But I haven't seen it. With my sensitive psyche, that type of thing is like a ten-year warranty for nightmares. Oh, it's Does fine. Does it have any meaning in Maya culture? Not that I know of. Well, somebody ought to know. You're surrounded by experts in Maya culture, for gosh sakes. But maybe it doesn't mean anything at all. Maybe the thief just thinks it's glamorous. Yes, I'll go ahead and ask for a hint because I mean, I'm really lame. Want anonymity after all. Thieves have to have style. Something to set them apart, right? It's not just any old villain that gets a book deal these days. Detective Drew, requesting hint, please. Negative, Detective Drew. Assistants Marvin and Fain, out of commission at this time. Suggest calling <sighs> Detectives Hardy and Hardy. I'll talk to you Gross. later. Gross. Watch out for stale cookies. Gross. 
Gross! I want to talk to them. I want to Joe, talk hey to Joe, it's Nancy. Either of them. Hey, Nancy. Any leads? As usual, I've waded into a swamp of suspicious activity. Oh yeah? What's up? Since the theft, Henrik is nowhere to be found. But he left me this note asking me to try out all of the activities in the temple exhibit. Why would he ask you to do that at a time like this? Well, supposedly, he just wants to make sure all of the activities can be successfully completed. So the temple exhibit is ready to open to the public. Hmm. So it's sort of like he's assigned you to do some fact-checking. Yeah, sort of. It could be a trap. Or maybe he's trying to lead you to some clues about the Pakal carving. Better check it out. Isn't that temple exhibit full of cool activities for kids? I bet it'll be a blast. As long as you don't get strung up by your toes. <laughs> Joe, does she need that? Does she? Do I? This investigation is Do I really? Any thoughts on how to get it back in gear? I'm fresh out of ideas. Yeah, me too. Wow. Later, Super Later, helpful. Super helpful. Well, through all you. To bed with you. Ah. This will just go back to the museum and maybe some things will be different. Hopefully. Cross my fingers. If not, I guess we can try the pyramid again. Even though we got all the way to the point where we couldn't go any further last time. She's still in here. Here. Is there something that I missed here, maybe? I feel like there should be financial documents somewhere that I can be like, oh. We got nothing. I really don't know what this is supposed to do for me. Covered bowl ceramic. Diego Delando ornamental carving. Unidentified glyph. Classic. Du, du, du. I got nothing. I don't know what that means. Well, hold on. Wait. Uh, 113. Wait, does it have a code or anything with it? No, it does not. Oops. One 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 three. Is one of these, yes? This one, the one that I don't have a passcode for yet. Unless maybe there's something on the oh, wait. Oops. just the same thing as what was in there. Not helpful. You have no voicemail. No voicemail. Did I do something wrong? Well, I couldn't have done something wrong, but... Oops. It needs a card. Okay, so this is the area that we... Did I hit this already? I don't remember watching that, but at the same time, I also don't think that it's necessary. Of 
quiz is the one thing that we don't have yet. Um, got these things though. Isophallic and Uh, yeah, something. I am matchmaker, and this is the one that we can't answer. And since we can't answer it, we can't get anywhere with it. So yeah, never mind. First of all, the people who could possibly answer this question are not here. I am actually 1,000% legitimately not sure where I am going here. Did I do something wrong? Organization Prudence Rutherford works for. There it is. You have All right. We're going. We're moving this investigation along. Got to get moving. Talk to this guy again, this hopefully, Nancy maybe, Drew. because he's part of the board Franklin, and therefore please. should know. Just a minute, please. Nancy, to what there we go. The pleasure of this call? I need to contact a woman named Prudence Rutherford. I noticed she's on the board of the Topeka Commission for the Arts and that they've donated money to Beach Hill. Any idea how I might track her down? Well, you're in luck. It so happens that Prudence and I sat on the panel of judges for the Kansas Speak No Evil Mime competition for three years in a row. Back when I lived in Wichita. How's that for a small world? How's that for a weird world? You judged a mime competition? Indeed I did. I haven't talked to Prudence in about ten years. But let's see if I still have her in this old dinosaur of a Rolodex. Ah yes, here we go. Got a pen? It's area code 785-555-7279. What's this all about? Miss Rutherford had connections, a my dear. Stolen right out of her home. It's elementary, my dear Walt. Elementary. Between these robberies. <laughs> You're a real pro, Nancy. Say, why don't I call ahead and let Prudence know what's going on? That way I can say hello and she'll be expecting you. That would be great, Mr. Rose. And I just Not like problem, dear. ignore that. And just jump right to it. Not Sweet, sweet harmonies of the phone. Ah, 
Okay, um, because we can't, because he just said a thing. We'll look at this. This side looks damaged. Is anything weird back here? I don't see anything at least. Oh, he's actually wearing brown pants! Brown pants and a tan shirt! They still look kind of similar when they're too close together like that. You shouldn't shouldn't wear those. Amnesia? Wow. Henrik must have taken a real nosedive off that pyramid. Do you think he just fell, Nancy? Or was he pushed? Sounds like you need to find out about hospital visiting hours. Yeah, but you'd better get the lowdown from Joanna first. George is right. She How did he fall? After is all. that an OSHA violation? The answer is yes, actually, because there's no barrier. The stairs going up like three floors, and there's no barrier at all. None. Zero. Like, come on. Come on. And as I found out today, that's like a $12,000 fine. Thank you, Polygon. She's not here. Okay. Oops. I actually want to listen to that this time. This message is for Nancy Drew. Hi, Nancy. This is Nurse Bluefoot calling from Eleanor Roosevelt Memorial Hospital in regards to Henrik van der Heun. I believe you're a colleague of his. Since Mr. van der Heun was admitted, he has repeated your name several times in states of semi-consciousness. As we've been unable to contact any of his family members, we're hoping you might be willing to act as Henrik's support person as he begins the difficult process of restoring his memory. Please call me as soon as possible to discuss this. My direct line is 202-555-4000. Thank you. Nancy, what a convenient it's number. Joanna. The police are done giving me the third degree, but now the board has suspended me. To, to make a long story short, I'm forbidden to set foot in the museum. Could you please call Franklin Rose and try to reason with him? If we don't get a move on, this exhibit is going straight down the tubes. To read five messages, press This is zero. a wonderfully crazy, over-the-top bunch of people. Try giving the hospital a call first. This is Nurse Bluefoot. Nurse Bluefoot, this is Nancy Drew. You left me a message regarding Henrik Vanderhune. How is he? Nancy Drew? Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I'm so relieved. We've been unable to locate any family members, and we do like amnesia patients to have at least one personal support person when they begin reality orientation. Reality, reality orientation, orientation sounds like something that comes up in reality the Matrix. Reality orientation is a kind of treatment that helps a patient get reacquainted with the facts and circumstances of his or her life. Henrik has not actually lost his memory. It's just that his brain is injured in such a way that he can't access the place where the memories are stored. I see. So we need to help him find the I trail see. of crumbs. Is that it? Exactly. First, we do repetitive memory exercises to help Henrik relearn the basic facts, like his name and address, the name of his parakeet, if he has one, the date, and so on. Second, we try to stimulate Henrik's sensory memories in order to help trigger or find the way back to his cognitive memories. What are sensory memories? A sensory memory is like it sounds. Something that is familiar, that you recognize by sight or touch, smell or sound or... Oh, what is that last one? Oh, yes. Taste. A cognitive What's the last one? Is something that I mean, of course, know, there's more than just the five basic senses that everybody knows of, because everyone just talks about those five, but of this a bunch of other Somewhere things. Somewhere along the way, you learn that it's called Earth, and you just remember. 
But say you bump your head and forget the name of this planet. You don't know where in the solar system you're floating. No idea. Don't even know that that's a thing. How would you know? That would be most unfortunate. It would exactly. be most unfortunate, but my dear. I show you a picture of our marvelous blue and green globe. Suddenly you remember. That glorious sight is Earth. Okay. I live on the planet Earth. This is how a sensory memory can trigger a cognitive or intellectual one. I still don't understand where I come in. You can't help Henrik remember his childhood, but you can probably help him remember his work. And who knows where that will take him. <laughs> All roads lead to Rome, as they say. One great tool is the Reality Orientation Board. This is a place to post this is a very long description. pictures for the patient to look at over a period of time. You may want to bring in images or photos to place on the board. Things from the museum, perhaps. I see. Well, I'll be happy to help in any way I can. When are visiting hours? Visiting hours are 10 to 4 every day. If the patient is not engaged in treatment and if... He seems stable. Great. Uh, is there anything else? Just remember, Henrik's brain has been knocked around like a peanut in its shell. He may have attention difficulties, headaches, uh, anxiety. Sometimes he may seem giddy, too. We need to keep these conditions in check. Honey, that's called a regular day for me. Honey, honey. Also, <laughs> thanks for the warning, Nurse Bluefoot. Be well. That was fascinating. I did not enjoy it. Boswell, Jackson, and Rose, how may I direct your call? This is Nancy Drew. I'm calling, calling to Franklin talk Rose to the guy again. Just a minute, please. Nancy, you must be psychic. I was just getting ready to call you myself. Oh, really? Why? I feel I should apologize for the situation that's going on at the museum, dear. I really did think we were setting you up with a nice little internship, a breather from your casework. But instead, it looks like we've fed you to the lions. Don't worry. I'm used to it by now. And after all, this situation is no more treacherous than my recent attempt at a ski vacation in Wisconsin. I don't know why anyway, you would ski in Wisconsin, but okay. I think I know what you're going to say, Nancy. Oh, let me be frank. Joanna Riggs has been in the doghouse with the board for months. Her thirst for acclaim has led her to gamble the future and the reputation of Beach Hill time and again. Now that we've lost the Bacall carving, one of our most notable pieces, well, she's just got to be stopped. But with Henrik in the hospital and Joanna suspended, how can we possibly get this exhibit off the ground? Leave that to me. We'll postpone the opening if we have to. Look, I've got a client waiting, Nancy. What we need now is for you to take up the slack. I've spoken to the rest of the board, and we've agreed that the best thing is to put you in charge. Guess who just became the director of a museum? A bitch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Mr. Rose, I'm not qualified to be a... I get her colleague. office now. <laughs> I don't have the experience. Maybe not, but you are the best qualified detective I know, which is just what we need right now. We're counting on you to catch this thief red-handed. <laughs> Just kidding, kiddo. If you can get the Pakal back, we'll see about giving Ms. Riggs another chance. That seems fair, doesn't it? That was a slightly a deal, mean Mr. way to... Bye, kiddo. Okay. Well, let's call Prudence then, my personal favorite part of this game. Prudence Rutherford is like my second favorite character. Damn. I'll try the other phone. Turn. Turn. Reality now. What should I post here? 
We'll do that in a minute. You look familiar. Is it time for my snack? Henrik, it's me, Nancy. You're looking very well. I'm here to help with your memory exercises so you can come back to Beach Hill as soon as possible. Beach Hill? Beach Hill is a museum here in Washington, D.C. Before your accident, you were working there on some important Maya glyph translations. Do you remember anything about that project? I don't even remember my own birthday. <sighs> so if you're here to squeeze me for details, you're wasting your time. According to Nurse Bluefoot, you haven't lost any data. Your brain just doesn't know how to locate certain things at the moment. We need to give it some clues. How, pray tell, do you intend to do that? I'll visit, we'll talk, sometimes I'll bring you pictures. Aww. Pictures? Well, isn't this nice? All right, Mr. Sarcasm. Come on, Henrik. You'll feel much better once things start coming back to you. I've got a picture with me if you'd like to give it a try. Fine, I'll do it. Well, you're not going to like this, but... Great. These are Maya glyphs, like the ones you used to translate. Now, don't be upset if you don't know how to read them anymore. I can tell you what they mean. I know what they mean, dear. I wrote them. Excuse me? Excuse me? I'm sure you have written them at one time or another in your career. So Excuse me? The magician suffers yellow death. Your translator is sloppy. I should know. I am the author of the original work. You don't agree with the translation? That first glyph is the fool, not the magician. Furthermore, any decent epigrapher knows those glyphs refer to the infamous plague of oozing hives. I think hers for a fool, don't you think? I rather like it. Ugh. Henrik, this note was found at a crime scene. Are you telling me you left it there? Got another. S I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. We have another suspect. I'm investigating the theft of the Pakal carving. I'm gonna send Please, off Henrik, the... try to remember something. Who in the world is Pakal? Oh, my head. Oh, the pressure. I can't take any more today, Nancy. Okay, it's time for some memory therapy. Nancy, could you come back tomorrow? That's enough for that. Okay. That's right, you can skip those. I keep forgetting that you can skip them. Okay. Now we're going to try calling Prudence Rothford. 855557279. Yes? Hello? Ah! Hi, this is Nancy Drew calling from Washington, D.C. I'm trying to reach Prudence Rutherford, please. Oh, yes! Franklin told me you'd be calling. Such dreadful news about Beach Hill. I will do everything in my power to help you catch those rapscallions. To think how they violated the sanctity of my domicile. Good heavens. I'm sorry to hear about your loss. What can you tell me about the necklace? I can't even think about it. Oh, just the very thought of my precious necklace <laughs> gone, stranded, orphaned, and in the hands of some dirty stranger. Makes my blood boil. A little bit of a uh, classist. Was the necklace a gift? <laughs> I inherited it from my mother-in-law. But you see, the necklace means much more to me than just a handful of priceless rubies. More? In what way? I had the necklace restrung to include an exquisite jade carving as the centerpiece, a genuine artifact of the ancient Maya. 
The carving is not only one of a kind, but a Rutherford family heirloom given to me by my great-grandfather when I was just a little girl. Does the carving have any meaning that you know of? It features a rare glyph. No one's been able to give me a precise translation, but most epigraphers have agreed that it has something to do with a snake, the color green, and the direction south. It's terribly fascinating. About the theft, where were you when it took place? At 3 a.m.? Well, I was home, of course. Lost in sweet slumber. I don't grace the social circuit the way I used to. At 3 a.m. in Topeka? Okay. Fiend crept right into the bedroom and took my necklace away. Where was I? Picking peaches in the fruit-laden orchards of my dreams. I feel like such a fool. Was anything else taken besides the necklace? Nothing. Not even my brand new Dada. Synesthetic, interactive, organic journey. Ha! I always knew Dada was overrated. One moment, dear. Off. Off the sofa, you nasty beast. No! What are you doing? What did I say about the sofa? Bad, bad, naughty bad. I'm sorry, dear. What was I saying? Problems with a dog? What? No, I was speaking to my <laughs> husband, dear. My second husband. Soon to become my ex-husband if he continues to crawl on the furniture like that. <laughs> anyway, what was I saying? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, they oh, must have gosh. known. The rest of my valuables were left untouched. Frankly, I don't know whether to be grateful or insulted. What about evidence? The evidence. first thing I saw when I opened my eyes was this positively ghoulish red handprint on the wall. I nearly jumped out of my skin. A red handprint a connection. was at the scene of the crime <sighs> at Beach Hill, too. It must be related. I'm almost certain that these robberies were committed by the same person. But why? What is so special about these carvings? Miss Rutherford, it would be so helpful if I knew exactly what your carving looks like. Could you send me a picture that shows it in detail? I can do better than a photo. The insurance company made this dreadful replica of the necklace with the idea that I would wear such a thing to public functions. Please. But I could send that to you if you'd like. Perfect. Let me give you the address. My secretary will have the address of the museum. Now, if that is all you require, young lady, I will need to attend to other pressing matters. Like your husband? Miss Rutherford, I won't on the couch. Down. Call me Prudence. Oh, and Nancy, when you find the villains who did this to me, do me a favor and Such give a weird them way a to sound thrashing. Weird You're way to sign off. Loud and clear. Bye. Loud and clear. Doop -a doop doop. We'll go talk to everybody one more time, then go to sleep and try talking to Henrik again? Probably our best bet, to be honest. Buenos dias. Have you heard? Henrik van der Heem fell off the pyramid at the museum. He's in the hospital with a mysterious head injury. That is terrible news. I hope it's not too serious. Well, oh, that was all of that. The museum. Goodbye. <sighs> in Claire's office. Is there anything more to be done at the museum? Nope. Any news? I need a photo of the Pakal carving. Do you have one? Joanna took the official print for her insurance claim, but I have a couple extras. Here you go. Keep up the good work. Any news? There was an incident at the museum. Henrik is in the hospital with a head injury. Poor Henrik. Another squabble between him and Joanna, perhaps? Oh, I'm kidding, but I do remember the time she threatened to push him in the pond. Temper, temper, I'm always telling her. I'd better get going. Keep up the good work. I don't know what else.
wants to do besides not be here. so that we can go to the hospital right away because that is the most pressing issue. Well, look who it is. Hi, Henrik. I've come to talk Maya King. Let's see if this photo rings any bells. This will help you to remember. That face. He's as familiar as my own feet. Can you remember the last time you saw him? Pakal! Nancy, this is the stolen carving, isn't it? And I'm the one who took it. Ha! I must have. But why? Oh, Pakal! What could I have meant by this? Think, Henrik. Where's the carving now? I can't remember. I can't remember. Do, 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 do. All I need is some idea of where to look next. I'll take any scrap of memory you've got, Henrik. It's still in the museum. Why would you break into the display case and steal the carving? Only, only to, to leave it in the museum. museum. To protect him. I had to protect him. Oh, Pakal. Something is going on at that museum. A devious plot. I was the only one who could stand in the way. What kind of plot? Forgive me, Nancy, but when I woke up in this hospital bed, I didn't even know my own name. Perhaps the only thing I can offer you is this key. It was found in one of my pockets. <laughs> May I offer you this egg during this trying time? <sighs> Do you know what lock it belongs to? I haven't a clue. Take the key now, Nancy. Find out what it opens and return to me, please, with some answers. We'll get to the bottom of this, I promise. In the meantime, I'll sit with my friend, Pakal, and see if he will tell me anything new. You must keep this to yourself for now. It's your only hope of getting to the bottom of this. Henrik, I need to know where you put the Pakal carving. I don't know. One of the pieces that was stolen from the Chaco Canyon Cultural Center was a jade carving with an unusual glyph on it. Do you remember translating it? I can't remember. I can't remember. Here we are. Did you use Joanna's name last week to place an order for Cinnabar with Keep It Real Restoration? You're asking the wrong amnesiac. That's the other line. <laughs> Do you have anything against Joanna? Who knows? <laughs> You rest up. Not him. Apparently. Be careful. Let me out. Want out. All right. We have a key. She has said it's locked when next to his desk. So I'm gonna go ahead and say this key goes to the desk, and ergo, we use it there. All right, what do we got? The journal number stations. Oh. Okay, 2050 hertz. Transmits. Numbers. Five numbers. In fact. In Spanish, starting with atención, atención. Write down the last three digits of the series, add a zero to it to get a four-digit number, add each of the original five digits, and add the sum of the four... Oh, jeez. This is a station that the smugglers will take messages on. All right, so then we're going to have to write this down. So we have all five digits. Then you take the last three of the series and add a zero to get a four-digit number. Add each of the original five digits... And then add that to the four-digit number. That's the station. All right. Then X plus. Oh, I'm having trouble writing this down. 
There we go. Yeah. Then add all original numbers to four digit. Okay. All right. That should be enough. Example. This is an example. Okay. Don't need this. Smuggler stations. Password is the Nahuatl word for snake. Enter a Morse code and they will confirm by voice, then send a code word. Leche, send the item immediately. The coast is clear. Mujer, meet at the rendezvous point. Sueño, don't send the item. The coast is not clear. Vacas, payment has been sent. Okay. Leche. Nahuatl word for snake. We know someone who speaks Nahuatl, don't we? Alright, where's the... Nancy. Hmm, looks like I need to oh. find someone who speaks Nahuatl. We know! I know exactly who to talk to. Really. Translation notes. Do, do, do. Blessing, curse, curse, perhaps summon spirit death. This face, Bach is captive. Uh, I'm just trying to break broken. Glyph resembles Kavan, Earth. Earth one. Here it's just like broken Earth, four corners, of course, the four corners of the world. Where have I seen this? Uh, trickster, jester, fool, very uncommon. Huh. Not necessarily useful. It's locked. Well, that's why you have a key, Nancy. What? There we go. Okay. We need to find out what the Nahuatl word for snake is. And then we can do that part. And we have this floppy, other weird floppy disk that I guess that's what it is. We're going to try that. Okay. Snake. Buenos dias. I need to know the Nahuatl word for snake. Can you help me? What do you need that word for? Uh, I'd rather not say. It's part of my investigation. Well, if only I could remember the word for snake. I hear you have been a great help to Henrik. I wonder if you can help me improve my memory too. Something tells me this you diplomatic hack. Strings attached. I am almost certain that the provenance documents for the Pakal carving were falsified. I have asked Joanna to see the documents, but she evades me. If you can find that file in her office and bring it to me, I think it might help my memory of Nahuatl a lot. First, Not gonna lie, that's suspicious. About the theft of the Pakal carving. And now Pretty freaking suspicious. To see the provenance documents? Is it just me, or is this a little suspicious? If I can determine that the provenance documents are a fraud, this will be the first major step toward legal repatriation of the artwork, whenever and wherever it resurfaces. Okay, Alejandro, I'll see what I can. Still do. don't trust you. I feel my Nahuatl coming back to me already. Do you know what Siwapili means? Princess or lady. Now, if only I could remember the word for snake. Could also just go to the Library of Congress. She is, yes, you know, you should. an American citizen and therefore can just look it up at the museum, at the library. You know, just literally right there. Library. But let's do this part first. Okay. What do we got? I don't remember what this glyph means. Uh, try and sketch this out real fast. Uh, and 
things like grapes. I'm very good at drawing. By good, I mean bad. I'm very bad at drawing. Luckily, this doesn't require the most skill to actually accurately represent. Bam! She's done. All right. I have to take a look around the museum, probably. Either around the museum or, like, directly at stuff. I don't know why. Don't knock. Just... Prominence documents, King Pakal carving. Da -da 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 -da. Site of excavation unknown, year of excavation unknown, first known record of ownership. Uh, 1940, Rupert started the Serpentine Gallery, Connecticut, Beach Hill. That's for title Pakal Carving, Rupert Star, Pakal Carving, Serpentine Gallery, 37% ownership of the gallery. In gallery. 800,000. Uh, da, 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 da. A bill of state sale. Nothing strange looking to me. It's just Like another thing, I guess. All right. Still shady. Still feels like this tit for tat is a little ridiculous. There's literally no one else in the entirety of Washington D.C. who can speak Nahuatl. Like no one. Not water. Let's see if it's in his notes. Wait, those are his notes. Never mind. Won't be in his notes. Let's check the numbers. That looks right. That does look right, but no, it doesn't have what I want in it. It's not that one either. No. No. Nope. Not here either. I'm sure that the answer must be somewhere in here. Nope. That's black. That's not in here either. Okay, then maybe it's out here. Nope. 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 Still nope. <laughs> Eventually. Nope. And no. Okay. I think I did miss one though. It's right here. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter at all. Although, wait, what about the puzzle that's in the first level here? One of these? That's not it either. Nope. Huh. Okay. Um. Glyphs, 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 glyphs. Where else are there glyphs? There must be more. Sure, there must be more. 
Maybe there is. Must be somewhere. Is it on? No, it's not there. We do have his notes that are in here, and I suppose we should put his notes on the board. And then, because we're right up there anyway, and then we'll go back to... He's allergic to chicken? Try coming back another time. How about that? Back to the consulate. To give this guy. Hello, the Nancy. You have a special delivery for me, I hope. Promise me that you'll take good care of these documents. Good work, my friend. I suppose you would like something in return. I trust your Nahuatl has become fluent again. The Nahuatl word for snake is coatl. C O A T L. Oops, I spelled that wrong. <laughs> it's spelled right in front of me, but. Muchas gracias. Oh no, I was just that white bitch. Oh no, she just threw out a muchas gracias. Girl. I mean, I do that all the time with German, though. So. I guess I, I should not judge too harshly. Any news? I'd better get going. So yeah, let's stop by and say hi. Not like you, but is there anything important that you need to let me know about? All right, let's see about the smugglers. Let's see what they've got. Okay. Morse code. This is the part we need. So we need to send snake quattle is dash dot dash dot o is dash 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 a is dot dash t is dash and l is dot dash dot dot okay we got stuff now let's see here all messages are sent using Morse code. One letter at a time, compose each letter by either dot or dash button. Then when you finish composing a letter per send, the back erases the series of this and prior to hitting the send button, if you use after hitting the send button. Okay, so the one back eliminates everything you've done for that letter. The double eliminates everything. Um, if it's unrecognizable, then nothing will work. For the most part, this is not super, you know, crazy stuff. Tube went out. Luckily, we happen to have a perfectly good radio tube that we stole from an exhibit right here. Forethought. Okay. Twenty fifty. Three, two, seven, one. Luckily, my, uh, you know, my, uh, what's it called? High school Spanish does come in handy every once in a while. Three, two, seven, one. Uh, no, sorry, two, seven, one, zero. Two, seven, one, zero. Uh, let's see, 3 plus 7 is 10, 2 plus 7 is 20, 21, so we get 2, 7, 3, 1. That's our frequency. Let's try this. 2, 7, 
three, one. There we go. Okay, what do we got? Dash dot dash dot send. Dash 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 send. Dot dash send. Dash send. Dot dash dot dot send. Oh, sh shoot. I forgot. We need to send. Leche, and I forgot to look up the Morse code. So let's just quickly look up a Morse code guide online. Port code. Uh, I don't want a translator. I just want to see what they are. Okay, so what do we got? We got L. Um, well, let me just write it down. L is. I mean, we already did that one. Dot dash dot dot. E is dot. C is dash dot dash dot. I already got that one too. Um, H is dot 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 dot, and E is dot. Okay, so we got dot dash dot dot. Just dot dash dot dash dot 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 dot. Okay, it'll be here as soon as possible. No idea how long that's going to take or what it's going to be like. But, uh, I'm going to turn you off. Okay. Cool. We just made contact with smugglers. And meanwhile, we are also waiting on that Rutherford necklace. So I'm hoping there will no. We did call her today, I suppose, didn't we? A bit early for anything to be there. Uh, okay. I don't think there's anything more we can do today, though, because we gotta hope that Henrik wakes up. He's probably not gonna wake up in the room or anything too early. And then, we got everything we needed out of him, out of Alejandro. I think we just have to wake up tomorrow. Oops. 11 p.m. Not what I meant to do, but that's okay. And we can wander around the museum at night. That would be fun. Kind of creepy. Right? Okay. Back out into the world we go. First things first, back to the hospital. It's our best lead. Orientation progress, cool. Not helpful. Beach Hill. Hopefully we'll have a package or two. Aha! Uh, Tension Vander Hume. This must be our... Well, that's... Creepy as fuck. Right, the Maya saw being cross-eyed is beautiful. There we go. There we go. Cool. Not really sure what it is or what to do with it, but there we are. Just throw that all away. It's useless. It's fine. Don't know what to say here. Don't know what to say. Uh... Ah! Stone! We have a password for the computer. Curse upon you who beholds this terror, the evil deeds of the whisper of silent secrets remain undead within this prison of rocks stone. 
Um, broken only when the four corners of the world are bound together. Then the first king ascends the throne again, and the last Copen fool has labored till the end of time. Well, Nancy, you have brought me back to my work. What have you remembered? I've been working like a fiend. Look at the board. I just look. This has something to do with the plot at the museum, Nancy. I'm sure of it. Who is this whisperer of silent secrets? The whisperer came from a distinguished line of royal scribes. I can't seem to remember her name. But I do recall that she wrote an account of Maya history that greatly angered the call because of the way it depicted his ascent to the throne. Bum, bum, ba -da -dum, bum, ba -da -dum, bum, ba -da -dum, bum, ba -da -ba, ba -da -da, bum, ba -da -da. At the age of 12, when he came to the throne, Pakal claimed to be divinely appointed the first true authentic king of the Maya. Then, the whisperer came along and wrote that Pakal was only king because his mother pulled some strings. It was quite a blow to Pakal's image. So he put her in a stone prison? Pakal swore that the Whisperer's words would never see the light of day. He put her body, her soul, and her writings all in a tomb and locked it up tight. Wait, Henry. A prison, prison of stone. stone? We're not talking about the monolith, monolith. Are we? That's the idea. Does anyone else know about this? Good question. I'm certain that there's a dirty rat trying to get into that tomb. But this is where my memory fizzles out. If I could only figure out why I took the Pakal. Do you think there is anyone I can trust? Please don't breathe a word of this. There's too much at stake. Henrik, I received a note from your friends in Copan. I've got the Copan fool key. I still need the Pakal, though. How's your memory? The tomb. Nancy, I hid the Pakal carving in the replica of the Pakal tomb at the bottom of the temple exhibit. Aha! Huh. Now, how did I think of that? And another thing, you'll need to get past that computer quiz. Sonny set it up with an impossible question. No one knows what Pakal was afraid of, but Sonny was petrified of the Coatamundi. It's an ornery bandit with a narrow snout and a long ring tail, much like a raccoon or a polecat. I'm going to write that down, even though that's not the problem that we're having at the moment. Can you tell me what the password is to your disk? You're asking the wrong amnesiac. You rest up. I'll be back. Be careful. Hopefully it's on the disk, because I, I kind of actually, yeah, I legitimately believed that he was going to tell us. I don't remember exactly that part, but hopefully there's, there's something in here. Yeah, we got this part. Nothing new in there. Notes. Bull. Ha! Anton Zahav. Anton Zahav. Matchmaker. That's the thing we needed. Prison bears an intricate lock, six separate keys. Four quarters of the world plus fool and king. Da, 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 da. All over the minor world. Before it's too late, somebody else knows about this. Whisper. Scribe. Amakshali. Common legend. Prevalence from the summer of 72. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, that must be an mechanism for punishment. Prohibit her from entering the underworld. Outside. North. Okay. Chaco Canyon heist. Likely among them. Okay. South. Rutherford in view. Yes. East. Bishop Diego de Landa. Diego de Landa. Wait. BH1113. Aha! In the, in the thing. Uh, whatever it's called. Um, shipping and receiving. Via Gilder Island West. Daddle. Henry Albert Daddle. Wait, we got a number. Five five. Oh. Six oh five 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 five. Three one nine five. South Dakota. Oof. Call. 
Please put Colin in a safe place. Lamanai. Submerged crocodile. This sounds like it's important. Lamanai. Croco dial. Oh, caca. Ah, for boys, ish for girls. Okay. Contacts. Mexico. He had quite the uh, network here. Thank you, Ronald. Yep. Interesting. Enric, you might be an academic and you might have uh, cleared a little bit of your name, but you're still pretty shady. Well, still. Actually, let me. I have a phone number. So I should call that phone number. And it is. One six zero five 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 three one nine five. Back in the days when you had to actually dial one before a long distance number, I barely remember Daddle doing residence. that. Hi, may I speak to Henry Daddle, please? Speaking. Mr. Daddle, my name is Nancy Drew. This is a long shot, but I'm calling regarding a Maya artifact that was bought at auction in 1898 by one Henry Albert Daddle. Does that ring any bells? Sure. Henry Albert Daddle Sr. was my great-grandfather. You're talking about the jade carving, right? Uh-oh. Yes, exactly. Wow, I can't believe No such thing as lucky, Nancy Drew, dear. No such thing. It's a lucky life, if you ask me. So what can I do for you? I'm investigating a recent rash of thefts around the country involving similar Maya artifacts. Any information you could give me about the one your great-grandfather bought would be very helpful. I see. Well... I was the last to inherit the carving, but my daughter Penelope was so intrigued with it that I gave it to her. Okay. I'm sure she'd be happy to talk Penelope. to you about it. Why don't you give her a call on her line? It's uh, five 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 three one nine seven. I don't know if I have to add the six oh five prefix do. as well. Thanks, Mr. Daddle. My pleasure. See if this works, I suppose. I mean, it could, it could not, not sure. We're sorry, your call cannot nope. be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. One six zero five. Okay, try it again. Hello. Hi, is this Penelope? Not even. Oh. Oh boy. Is this six zero five 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 three one nine seven? Yeah, but no one calls me Penelope anymore. Except my parents, that is. To my friends, the art world, and anyone else who made it out of the 20th century, I'm Poppy. The art world? Wait, you're not Poppy Dada, are you? Oh, boy. Ta -da! Ping, ping, you win. Who's this? My name's Nancy Drew. She's a bit I'm haughty, isn't she? The detective? No way. So do you get to wear a sassy tweed hat and pick hairs off dead bodies and gross, creepy stuff like that? Actually, I try to keep a low profile. So she wears mom jeans. Well, it's a little conspicuous. <sighs> so, where'd you get mine? <sighs> Don't tell me I'm, like, wanted by the FBI or something. That would be too scandalous. <laughs> Not quite. Taylor Sinclair told me about you. I saw one of your paintings in his office, here in Washington, D.C. So, how do you know Big Bunny Sinclair? I beg your pardon, did you say Big Bunny? Oops, just a little nickname I accidentally found out about. He made me promise to abolish it from my memory. Anyway, about your acquaintance, you were saying? Taylor and I are both affiliated with... Cards close to the chest. Cards close to the chest. Has Taylor been pushing those Oaxacan cookies on you? You haven't eaten one, have you? So far, I've managed to politely decline. I take it you advise against them? Let's put it this way. His trip to Oaxaca was about two years ago, and he's been trying to move those rancid lard biscuits ever since. <laughs> 
Aha! My suspicions are confirmed. I'll put that in my case notes. That's hot. What's a case? Are there dead bodies involved? Do you need to, like, tap my phone or impersonate me or something? Someone is stealing Maya antiquities, jade carvings to be exact, and leaving this scary red handprint at the scene of every crime. Ghastly. So, what's with the red hand? It's printed with this stuff called Cinnabar. Nobody seems to know <sighs> Cinnabon. what it means. All I know it means is the more I really yummy the more complicated food it gets. That drama. isn't that yummy. So, where do the daddles come in? I'm trying to track down certain Maya Jade carvings that haven't fallen into the thief's hands yet. I think one of them might be in your family. You mean that ancient green rock with the weird symbol on it? I slapped some shoe polish on it and stuck it in one of my paintings. Oof. What were you thinking? You'll never get it back. Oof. That's the whole point. Have you heard the saying that a work of art is never finished, just abandoned? Well, I'm taking that idea to the limit by making art that will keep changing as different people encounter, perceive, and interact with it. I'm tired of artwork that says, don't touch. I'm all about letting go, about sending my work into the world and seeing how it continues to become. Don't you see? It's an organic process. I mean, how can people really relate to art if it doesn't come to life and, and, and grow and die just like they do? That carving is part of something bigger now. It seems awfully reckless to me, not to mention the wrench it throws into my investigation. Oh, Nancy, don't be such a prude. Taylor's probably still got the artwork. At least, I don't think he's sold it yet. Why don't you ask him? Tell him you want to see the piece called Deadly Midnight Snack. It's the one with the rubber shark. The one that you can look at in his office. <laughs> Deadly Midnight Snack. I think I know the one you mean. But I'd rather not bring Taylor into this, if it's okay with you. I'm just not sure whether I trust him. Fine with me. I know the big bunster, Mr. Bunnytron. Well, he rubs some people the wrong way. Or if he you could really just need be... the carving to crack this case, why don't you just go ahead and take it? But wouldn't it ruin your painting? Of course not. After all, this is a chance to enact exactly what I've been talking about. The organic process. Inviting my viewers to interact with my work. The deal is, you can take the carving, but you have to put something in its place. I can choose anything? A light bulb? A magnifying glass? A pair of headphones? No, it should be something more organic. Stay with the title, Deadly Midnight Snack. And don't be afraid to go way out. As an artist, I can tell you that inspiration bites in the most mysterious ways. I'll do my when I was younger, I thought that she was a really weird thing, but like you at the same time... If it's not that weird, actually. With the merchandise. That's all art is to him, you know. That being said, I would not include an ancient Maya carving into a interactive work. Uh, I'll make sure he doesn't detect a thing. You should Good go to prison to for that pun, Nancy. Oof. Thanks, Bobby. Bye. Okay, so we have a goal, a very firm one. We're going to go to Taylor Sinclair's office. We're going to go steal a carving that he doesn't know he has. Any news? Mind if I help myself to one and of I know exactly what to put on it. And cookies? Be my guest. May I take a closer look at that wacky Dada -da painting? Be my guest. I just had a call from Poppy this morning. She says she's in a really creative period right now. I said, please, sweetie, if you get any more creative, they're going to lock you up. <laughs> uh, pardon me a moment, Nancy. I'll be right back. I hope. Poppy said to replace it with something organic. Poppy said to replace it with something organic. Well, oh, it's got a little face on it. <laughs> Can I look at the stuff that's on his desk? I just want to snoop. Or... Anywhere else in his office? No? No snooping? No snooping. 
right? No Snoopy. Well, we'll go back to Beach Hill. We're still waiting on the replica of the... Rutherford one. I wonder if it's here yet. It is! Aha! Ah, ah, ah. Nancy, please relieve me of these horrid fake... Mm, hold on, I gotta do the voice. Nancy, please relieve me of these horrid fake rubies by offering them to the Maya God of Refuse, if there is one. I have no love for imposters. Prudence. I'll just take that out of the setting, because that's pretty useless. As we have now seen, throw it away. I just need to know how to get into that. What's the number for the Charcoal Canyon? Because we've just confirmed that... One, five, oh, five, 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 one, two, two, two. Ugh. Can't call them from here. Call them from there. How do I find the... Need to get that carving that's hiding in there. That's a number combination. Get that going. Chaco Canyon Cultural Center. Hi, this is Nancy Drew calling. Hi, Nancy. It's Sheila. What can I do for you? I've just got to get my hands on a replica of that jade carving you lost. Do you have any ideas? Not off the top of my head, but maybe one of my staff will have a bright idea. I need some time to ask around. Can you call back later? Sure thing. Feel free to call if you have any more questions. Well, okay. Uh, all right. I think I just spoiled it for myself, but it's fine. Nope. There we go. Start here. Roswell Jackson and Rose, how may I direct your call? I'd like to speak to Franklin Rose, please. I'm sorry, but Mr. Rose is out of time. Would you like Nothing. to try back later? Sure. Thank you for calling Boswell Jackson and Rose. Not that late in the day, is it? It's only 2 p.m. We have to call from the museum. Oops. Too far, too far, too far. Ah! There we go. Just run all the way across Washington, D.C. Just make a phone call. That's, uh, that's Nancy for you. Boswell, Jackson, and Rose, how may I direct But he also will not speak to me now either way. I'm sorry, but Mr. Rose is out of the office. Would you like to well, try back later? Sure. Thank you for calling Boswell, Jackson, and Rose. Uh, we have to wait to call back Taco Canyon, but 
No more things left. Oh, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here we go. I do know what we can do because we have the answers to the rest of this thing. Totally forgot. We have the answers here. this in and let's get going quiz all right name of one of stone jaguar's wives not on that page here we go maybe zock oh, sorry uh bicep bicephalic uh quibble all is noble. Matchmaker is Anton Zaha. Uh how is it wrong? Did I write it down wrong? That's a possibility, I suppose, but... Uh... Oh, I'm putting in an extra N. Ah! Okay, let me just erase that so that when I... Possibly have to wait. I probably shouldn't. Yeah, no, I finished the thing, so. Never mind, I don't have to. That should be the last time I deal with that puzzle, thank goodness. Let's go down one more level. Do something. Hopefully, good. Hi. Ah, oh, these are gods. Let me go back this way, because wasn't there a... Yeah, there's this thing. King Pakal's tomb recreated in a great find. When King Pakal died 68 years on the throne, his remains were adorned with rare jade ornaments, including the now famous jade death mask, and deposited in an elaborately carved stone sarcophagus, much like the one you see here. Uh... Okay. Jade. All about Jade, don't worry. Wah wah. Wanted a glow stick. Can't get a glow stick yet, apparently. Buying calendar. Uh, use the log address below, move the calendar stone so the date equals 12 Kaban. Uh, which one is Kaban? Uh,. Well, I know what 12 is. 12 is, um... Oh. It only turns one way. Okay. 12 is there. And just go around until it clicks, I guess? There! That one! I win! <laughs> oh, I feel like a cheat. Even though it's not really cheating, I just brute force my way through it. Kind of like what I'm going to do over here. Uh... I thought Ishel was one of those two. Ah, Ishel is the moon goddess. My mistake. I only remember that because of the new Tomb Raider. Um, I don't remember these, though. Okay, he's the war god. She is the moon goddess. Okay. Get in there. 
Ah, that was right. That was wrong. Cool. Oh. Trying to make sure I remember these as I go. Kukukan is the god of death. No, Kukukan. The god of wind, then. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong buttons. I didn't know Kuku Khan was a god of wind, though. Okay, now I got it. Or... Oh, which one are you? Um, oh, shoot, I did it wrong. I did it wrong. Or, Ishel, Moon, Young Cox is the Horn, Google Khan, Wind. of death and brute forced all right let me never let it be said that i am not difficult okay have another one of these all right I have a feeling this may be one of Sonny's tricks. We already found out that it's the Kotamundi. There we go. And that's it. Cool. We're done. We can go look in the tomb, which allegedly has the actual carving in it. Yes. Because death mask and ha 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 we have it. And we got a glow stick for our trouble. Woo! It locked. Yes, it is. It's too dark in here. I need a light. This is not safe, also. Like, very not safe. Like, wicked not safe. <laughs> okay, so we have pretty much all of these done. Right, we have, how many of these pieces do we have? One, two, three, four, four pieces. We need two more. And one of them was at the Chaco Canyon Research Center, and the other one is in a box that I can't get into right now. Annoyingly. See if the Chaco Canyon Research people can help again. I think we're close to being able to finish this tonight. Personally, I think we're almost there. Let's try it. Break it down. Chaco Canyon Cultural Center. It's Hi, me again. Nancy Please send me your stuff. Hi, Nancy. It's Sheila. Well, we racked our brains. Finally, one of my staff came up with the original box that the carving was packed in. The piece was encased in a tight foam cast to prevent damage during shipping. I'm not sure how much good it'll do you, but I can send it to you if you like. At this point, I'm ready to try anything. Henrik left Beach Hill as his forwarding address. So I know what to do. I'll send it express. Marvels. A million, Sheila. Good luck with your investigation. <sighs> All right, so we got that settled. We have to just wait, unfortunately. Sorry, 4.15. So we'll set it to 10 a.m. Visit Henrik. Try this whole thing again.
Good afternoon, young lady. According to your notes, the call made a six-part key to the Whisperer's tomb and scattered the pieces around the world. Do you remember anything about this? Six keys? Six keys? Six keys! Nancy, what are the four corners of the world? North, south, east, and west. Plus the first king, Pakal himself, and the Copan fool. When they're all assembled, they open the tomb. Don't you see? This is why I stole the Pakal. To prevent some other schemer from putting the key together. Maybe I'd better tell Joanna what's going on. You must keep this to yourself for now. It's your only hope of getting to the bottom of this. You rest up. I'll be back. I'll do my best. Hmm. We are very close, aren't we? We have all the pieces almost right where we want them. Should be one right in here. Yes! That looks like something we can use. Probably in the lab. I happen to remember this part very well. Boop, boop. Yuck. Cool. We got another one. That and... You have no voice. Please pick up your phone. Well, Jackson and Rose. May I speak to Thank Franklin you. Good. Rose, okay. please? Who may I say is calling? This is Nancy Drew. Just a minute, please. Nancy, how's your investigation coming along? I've recovered the Pakal carving. That's great. So the case is closed. I'll reinstate Joanna as museum curator, and we can get on with the business of launching this exhibit. Where in the world did you find it? Who's behind all this nonsense? Mr. Rose, this case is far from closed. And she says on an unsecured line. What in the world are you talking about? I'm sorry, but I can't explain everything now. I'll take good care of the carving, I promise. What can I say, Nancy? I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Do what you have to do, but let's get this mess cleaned up, all right? So you'll call Joanna and invite her back to work? I'll call her right away. Thanks, Mr. Rose. That's what I'm here for. Okay. Joanna should be back at her desk either now or later. Probably later because I think it doesn't make sense that I... Or she's right there. Never mind. It, it doesn't have to make sense. Thanks for clearing my name, Nancy. Honestly, I mean, what kind of moron would I be to try and ruin my own exhibit? Anyway, we need to make up for lost time. I need you to go oh, to the storeroom six, and start six, unpacking some of those crates. One of the pieces has a fancy security device on it. The code is 0677. Sure thing, Joanna. I'll see you later. Semper ubi sub ubi. Semper ubi sub ubi. This is the last time I'm going to hear you say that, honey, because I think we might just be on the cusp of ending the game. I don't mean to treat this like it's a uh, speedrun or anything, but this is my favorite game. I enjoy playing it, and I'm just, like, getting all excited about this. So, yeah! According to Henrik's notes, I need to make a key out of these pieces. Maybe... Up first? Oh. Having technical difficulties, Nancy? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Just get right in. Just like that. And now I have the key. Wah, 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 wah. All right. Well, I mean, if we have the key, and it opens the thing. Let's go open the thing. Something 
what's missing here? Something doesn't look like that's here. what goes there, though. Calendar stones. <gasps> All right. They look like calendar stones, and you need to take the ones that they're because there are some in the museum. Yeah. Is that here? No. Yes, here. See? Those. I need these. It's locked. And it is locked, but that does not matter because I have a key and I am amazing. Wow, these are heavy. I feel like this. I'm not sure I can hold on to these stones for very much longer. I'm not sure I can hold on to these stones for very much longer. Then put them down. Oh, she's going to drop them, isn't she? I'm not sure I can hold on to these stones for very much longer. I've got to put these things down. Or she made it. Okay. Never mind. She made it. Okay. Okay, don't don't ask me how that one works. Tom said when the first king ascends again. First king ascends again. Do we have to do like four different ones? No, just the one. First king ascends again. So when was his coronation? Oops. Or yeah. Coronation, I suppose? Uh, 615 CE. Death was 683 CE. That doesn't help me, though. Because that doesn't... This is a more ceremonial year. Ah, but how do I translate CE to? Hmm. Oh, okay, yeah. I'm just looking at the wrong exhibit, that's all. I believe it's this way. Rutherford's lab, here we go. Uh, six Lamont, okay. I can do that. Okay, six would be here. Why? Well, I, I I don't know. I think we have to brute force this force this one just like the the last one, honestly. Like that. Perfect. Okay. Choose which side of the cube goes here. Uh... Nothing happened. Not sure whether I can make this work. Ah, I got that one down. Okay. And that one was just sheer luck. Nope. Nope. Didn't I just do that one? Nope, I obviously did not. 
However, we are now on the last part. Alright, you guys. This is it. I'm gonna get it wrong. And I got it wrong. Oh, shoot. I don't want to do that again. That's the same one. Aha! Eesh. Cute! Cute! She's, um, pretty. It's blank. Who's your friend, Nancy? Ah! Oh! Taylor Sinclair! Who'd you expect, the Tooth Fairy? Looks like someone <sighs> forgot her beauty cream. I guess we can't yes, all small age hands. gracefully. I'm sure she Such would say the same hands. about you. You've been a top-notch assistant, Nancy, but I'm afraid you're just not going to make it in the art world. Why are you doing this? Nancy, do you have any idea what that book contains? This tomb and all of its contents belong to Mexico. Finders keepers, I say. Nobody even realizes this thing has any content. Uh, except for Won't me they and surprise Henrik. when they finally open it up and find that it contains a 7th century scribe and a 21st century detective. Adios, Nancy. Something's missing here. I'm starting to run out of air in here. Something's missing here. All right, so we got two places where things are missing. Hi. I need this. Ugh. <coughs> I've got to get out of here. You got it, Nancy. You got this. You got this. It's fine. You're you're good. You're going to be fine. Suffocating in here. This may be the scribe's notes about the call. That's lovely. Okay, cool. We're good. We got a thing that goes in here. Yeah. Behold, our heroine emerges. Okay, this is where it gets weird, though. Like a mermaid from the sea. What? Meanwhile, the foolish villain stews in the sour soup of his own miscalculation. How did you get out of the <laughs> from deep hospital? In the recesses of time, a wise royal scribe whispers her thanks. Why aren't you helping? <laughs> and a priceless chapter of history is rescued from obscurity. I don't Where understand. Go, what in the world? Just says, no! suck it. Confound you nancy drew was it me really Dear dad it was great to talk to you on the phone mm -hmm. last night i can't wait to see you back in river heights where i can fill you in on the whole story can you believe that your own daughter was recently standing face to face with a real mummy now that the scribe's book has been recovered i understand how important it is and why taylor thought he could make a fortune selling it on the black market the book contains one of the only personal accounts of maya life in existence anywhere I'm sure it'll be a tremendous addition to our knowledge of the Maya once it's translated, that is. And now that Henrik's memory is back up to speed again, I'm sure he'll be itching to get to work on it. Taylor Sinclair won't be making any art deals for a long time, though, that's for sure. I guess I shouldn't be surprised about Alejandro's discovery that the Pakal Carving's provenance documents were faked after all. When Franklin Rose and the board found out, they arranged to return the artifact to Mexico right away. Mexican officials are so happy to have the artifact back, they have pledged a new era of diplomatic relations with Beach Hill. Joanna sure learned her lesson about making deals with shady operators like Taylor. The board has agreed to give her another chance, as long as she reforms her business tactics. Good. And what else? Oh yes, Poppy Dada has announced a new direction in her artwork. All her new paintings are going to feature, what else, mysterious red handprints. <laughs> so I guess everyone is taking off in new directions now. I'm going to stay and help this exhibit get launched. But I'll see you back at home in a couple of weeks. Have a safe trip home. Love, Nancy. And scene. Nice. Dear Nancy, Bess and George told me you're on a case in D.C. I hope everything is working out for you. I wish I could say the same for me. I'm planning on living here. But 
There's been some trouble. I think someone or something doesn't want me here. Please, Nancy, I'm afraid I can't stay here very much longer. I know you're busy, but I'm desperate. I need you to come out and investigate. Please say you will. Your friend, Sally. Now, now that I think of it, so the next one, obviously, is Ghost Dogs and Moon Lake. Um, now that I think of it, though, I don't think Sally ever comes up again. Huh. Well, that's it for my favorite game, honestly. This is, like, hands down one, well, not my favorite, I guess. Hands down one of my favorite Nancy Drew games of all time. This one right here is literally the game that got me started in the Nancy Drew, the game that got me into this whole thing, um, and probably one of the games that got me into gaming for the most part. So, yeah, this was a pretty big deal for me. Glad that I could have you guys come along on the journey for it, too. So thank you very much for being here. Um, but yeah, uh, unfortunately, I am not going to be able to stream at this time next week. I will be back to my normal 1 to 9 p.m. schedule, Eastern Time. So uh, I'll probably be starting around now, <laughs> um, you know, next week uh, on Tuesday. I'll, I'll probably stick to coming on around 10 o'clock, so no worries there. Give myself a little bit of time to come home, grab something to eat, and then jump right in. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys for coming in, uh, sitting in and checking out the the, uh, the fun here. So uh, thanks for stopping by, thanks for watching, and I will see you next week. Until then, this is the Boston Trophy Wife signing off. Remember to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, BOS Trophy Wife. Um, that's where I announce all of my stream times. If anything's come up, if anything changes, that will be where I will let everyone know. Uh, and I hope to see you next time. See you later. Oops. I don't really need to save, do I? And I can only exit when I actually get back to my desktop. So there's this moment of awkwardness right here after I've already said goodbye. So goodbye again. <laughs>